Hello my fertility friends, I'm Anne and in this video I want to tell you about ovulation bleeding. I tell you three secrets about ovulation bleeding and how to get pregnant and how to recognize uh, ovulation bleeding in your cycle. What is an ovulation bleeding? An ovulation bleeding is a spotting, mostly brown or red color and Mostly it is during your fertile time in your cycle. But how can you know if it is really your fertile days in your cycle, yeah? your highly fertile days? For that you can use the symptothermal method. When you look to your cervical mucus in your cycle and the changes of it, and also in combination with your basal body temperature, you can measuring every day your body temperature and so you can evaluate your basal temperature. Then you can exactly know when is your ovulation time, when is your high fertile days in your cycle. Okay, for example, you can see here one example of a cycle and you see in the last line a big F and this F is the fertile day yeah? and the fertile days goes from the first day when you can see your cervical mucus to the first higher measurement of your body temperature. You can also see that in this cycle the woman has experienced an ovulation bleeding on the day 17 and 18. So you can see in this example it's really a good thing when you look to your cervical mucus and your body temperature and then the ovulation bleeding can help you to see your really fertile days in the cycle. In this example you can also see the cervical mucus. The cervical mucus with symbols S and S plus and also another symbol uh, which means there's nothing to see, nothing to feel. You can see on the seventh day of cycle the woman recognized a cervical mucus with the category S and because she can see on this day cervical mucus that's because the fertile days begin on this day and ends to the first higher measurement on the 19th day of the cycle. So, uh, ovulation bleeding is a sporting during your most fertile time in your cycle. Why does ovulation bleeding happen? The answer of this question is not really clear, because there um, are some different theories about this. Some scientists believe that the estrogen level drops dramatically in the cycle and because of this the blood is slotted off in your uterine. Because in your body there have to be a critical level for holding the blood in the, your uterine. If the level is below this critical level then the blood falls down. Okay, the next secret is, does ovulation bleeding happen in every cycle and during every ovulation? this picture you can see the answer. Because this is a survey with 183 women and this women answering for the following. 31% never had an ovulation bleeding. Never. And 90% said, yes, I had about once. 16% of women said, yes, it's uh, sometimes an ovulation bleeding. And only 4% said, yes, every ovulation. So the question was, does ovulation bleeding happen during every ovulation? Then you can say clearly, no. 
only 4% of women have it during every ovulation. That means the most of women have not an ovulation bleeding during their ovulation. And this in really every cycle. And about 61% of women never had ever an ovulation bleeding. And another secret question is, how long does an ovulation bleeding last? There also you can see a survey with 142 women. And the question for these women was, how long does your ovulation bleeding last on average? You can see 29% said my ovulation bleeding lasts one to two days. 6% said three to four days. 4% said five to six days. And 2% said it's more than six days. That's very long, I think. 59% said I have never had an ovulation bleeding. So, and because of these reasons, I think, in my opinion, it's not only the ovulation bleeding you can look at in your cycle. It's not enough, yeah? It's not enough to really determine your highly fertile days because only a few percent of women have an ovulation bleeding. That's why it makes sense to look here at your cycle with the symptom thermal method and measure your body temperature and look at your cervical mucus and the changes during your cycle. And then you can really determine your fertile days in your cycle and you see your highly fertile days really clearly. Yes, this is my opinion and as a fertility counselor, I think it's really the best method you can do is a simple thermal method. If you want to know more about this method, look below in this box. You can see also a video about my ebook. With this ebook, you can learn the simple thermal method really clearly and easily, and you can use it to get pregnant. This was your end, and that's the end. Bye bye.